uh, if you would think it would kind of be a form of double dipping if you're paying if you're paying something in order to in order to increase the value of your property because obviously the incentive to do that would most likely to be to improve and increase the property value which means you're getting kind of a benefit f from it already and so you would think it'd be kind of like double dipping if you got if you got a a, a tax uh deduction with it too but in any case the cost of property improvement uh, is added to the basis of the property so meaning the value of the property it might be included to the basis what does that do the basis is kind of like the cost of the property so when you sell the property then you might have to calculate a gain or loss on the property if it's real estate property it might be like a capital gain or loss but if it's personal property then it still would be capital but you might have an exemption for it but the general idea is that you would like to have a higher basis or cost in the property when you sell it because then when you calculate the gain gains are bad for taxes they're good in general but bad for taxes because they might trigger a tax event so then you have the, the sales price minus the cost or basis if you get to increase the value of the basis then you're going to have less of a gain when you sell it and that could be a tax benefit however it might be totally wiped away if it's your home in any case because there is a substantial exclusion uh, on the sale which we might talk about when we get to the capital gains so however a charge is deductible if it is used only to maintain an existing public facility and service for example a charge to repair an existing sidewalk and any uh, interest included in that charge so if your mortgage payments include your real estate taxes you can include only amount the mortgage company actually paid to the taxing authority in 2023 so this gets a little bit into the logistics of this so note that if you're dealing with somebody or yourself who is itemizing most likely because you own a home which is a type of real estate and and so th and that pushes you over because you're going to have a loan on it typically a mortgage which means you're going to be paying mortgage interest which is usually quite significant and something that the bank will typically tell you about you're going to get forms documentation related to the mortgage interest which will help you to to populate the mortgage interest part